everybody, welcome to Remrov's World of Autism. I am Remrov and this is Echo. And in this video, I want to talk about is it possible to lead a happy life as an autistic person? Um, not long ago, I saw this discussion going on on my uh, Facebook support group for autistic people. And one person asked the question, is it possible to be happy as an autistic person? Is it possible to ever lead a happy life being autistic? This, um, uh, there were a lot of people, uh, a lot of autistic people participating in that discussion and if you read all those uh, responses, it was quite sad making actually. Many uh, autistic people, they struggle with the same things to such an extent that it just prevents them from being happy at all. They uh, struggle with relationships and with friendships and with work, with uh, finding a job and keeping a job. They find themselves being very lonely and everything they try just falls through. And um, this is of course very sad making and it shouldn't be like that. Um, I participated in the discussion as well and I must honestly say that it is indeed not easy to, to, to manage your life and to, to be happy. Everything can be quite a huge struggle actually. And many neurotypicals, so when they hear that they might say yeah, but life is not easy for everybody, but it is, um, we do actually realize that, of course, but it's also good to keep in mind that uh, things that, they, that neurotypicals uh, take for granted, or things that, that, that are automatic and, and quite easy for uh, neurotypicals, this, those things can be very, very difficult or even impossible for autistic people, like having a job, uh, having a family, good contact with family, or uh, going on trips, for example, things like that. We really don't expect life to be easy at all, but we do want to be able to, yeah, the, the feeling that you belong somewhere, to participate in life, instead of just standing by the sideline. And uh, many autistic people, they don't have the feelings. They, uh, they just have a feeling that they're existing in, instead of living and that is just a huge struggle to even get through the day. Um, I do think it is possible to be happy as an autistic person but it, it takes a lot of effort from ourselves, from aut autistic people but also from our society and from other people around us. Um, if you Google the word autism. If you, if you do that right now and then let me know in the comments below what you notice. I'll just give you some time for that. Because there's actually something very weird going on. Something that, yeah, it's actually a huge mistake. Um, if you go autism then it's impossible not to notice that you only read or almost only read autistic kids, autistic children this, autistic children that. Everything out there is about or for autistic kids or for their parents. And you hardly read anything about autistic adults. And this is of course yeah, wrong. It's, it's a huge mistake. It's, um, it's, it's actually the same as um, making services only for blind kids instead of blind adults. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, we live in a time now where there are a lot of uh, autistic adults, a huge, a whole generation of autistic adults who never received the proper help and support when they were kids. They were born in the 60s, in the 70s, in the 80s. And in, those, uh, in, in that time there was hardly anything known about autism and many of them they just went through life undiagnosed and 
but they were struggling with everything and they didn't know why they were struggling with everything. And now they are grown up, many received their diagnosis, but unfortunately they still can get services or help or support because now everything is only for kids with autism. So, um, yeah, it's wrong and I, I, I really don't understand the reason why this is. It doesn't make sense and it, it really needs to change. So, uh, what should organizations, like you know, autism organizations, what, sh what should they um, do and also focus on? They should, for example, make support groups for autistic adults and organize activities for uh, autistic adults. They um, could uh, help uh, autistic adults with finding a job, a good job, and, and also support with uh, keeping the job, like, um, yeah, make sure you don't lose it, make sure you don't lose a job, and also support with finances and other practical things that uh, autistic people often struggle with. Autism organizations should also consider hiring autistic adults, because many autistic adults, they're very good at expressing what their difficulties are and also expressing in what helps them and what works for them. And they would be actually very good at um, yeah, to, be, to work as a consultant and to give advice to parents of autistic kids. It's very unfortunate that many auti autism organizations they only have neurotypical employees. Well, autistic employees could be such a huge asset. Then, of course, in our society, other companies, like there's many other companies, and they should also be opening up to hiring autistic employees. Fortunately, I do, uh, I have read that companies are already uh, starting to do this, but it should be a lot more. Often the word autism, I think it still causes some fear. And then autistic um, employees are just not hired. They just they're just rejected when they uh, try to get a job because of their autism. And even if even if uh, autistic um, people are hired, then they're really struggling with keeping the job. And because there's often not enough support and understanding from the employer, but also other employees. I've also um, heard a lot of stories about autism discrimination, like uh, employees, they tend to criticize autistic employees more than neurotypical uh, employees. And that autistic people, employees, they, they're losing their job over something that a neurotypical employee could get away with. For an employer, it is a confirmation of the fear, and that's then the reason why um, why they fire an autistic employee. There is also a lot we can do ourselves to pursue our happiness, and the first thing is to accept that you're uh, that you're autistic and that you're different. You can um, you probably look around you. You see other people going out on a Saturday night with friends to a cafe and you, and you probably think that if only you had that too you would be happy. But if you really think about it, would you really be happy if you had that? Because often going to a cafe with a b big group of people into such a crowd is often too chaotic and loud and, 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 and too crowded for us. And we would be a lot happier with going to a movie or watching a movie at home with only one or two people. And the key is to find out what, what works for you, what makes you happy, what do you like. And then without looking at other people, especially neurotypical people, because what you like and works for you is probably quite different than what neuropeople, neurotypical people like. For me, I have noticed that chess really works really good. I, I, for many years I was a member of a chess club and I really loved it. Because with chess you don't have much communicating, not much socializing, but you're still around other people and you're doing an activity. 
um, with other people and, and it was a very good compromise it works really well um, the second um, is yeah, to find people you feel comfortable around and it is not easy at all to make friends so joining a support group for autistic people would be really good um, when you have contact with uh, other autistic uh, people then um, you can like, recognize a lot in each other and you feel that you're not alone and you see that other people struggle exactly with the same things and then you can also um, yeah, like participate in the same activities together because we often have like the same interests and the same needs and so you can yeah, start, start to do things together the, the third uh, thing is um, not to focus too much on the things you don't have uh, once I was in a support group for an autistic adult and one man every week over and over he, he, he talked about that he was so upset that he wasn't that he didn't have a romantic relationship and he was trying so hard to get to know girls and to get into a romantic relationship and the thing is when you try too hard you might actually get exactly the opposite of what you want because people feel that you're desperate and that you're trying too hard besides that when you focus on one thing that you don't have and that you would really want then um, you miss everything else around you things that could also be very nice for you so don't focus too much on, on the things you don't have then the fourth thing about uh, the issues with finding a job and keeping a job it is important uh, to find out your weaknesses and your strengths and then you can work on your weaknesses with the help and support we should get from autism organizations but it is also very important to, um, to, to, to focus on your strengths and you can um, for example you can get a job in which you have to pick up the phone every day and all day long but if, if communicating over the phone is extremely difficult for you um, for example because of uh, sensory issues then you're really not going to be happy with that job and it will fall through sooner or later and it will only cause a lot of stress Many autistics are way better off with a job without too much communicating, a job a bit more behind the scenes and for example working with computers or quality control or something else that requires a lot of focus and precision that's something many autistic people are really good at. So we all have to put extra effort into the pursuing happiness for autistic adults and you have to stop making everything only for autistic kids because that's just that really doesn't make any sense at all and for autistic people themselves uh, it's often not about trying harder because they often try extremely hard and too hard but it's more about trying something different a different path if something doesn't work for you don't agonize and over keep on trying 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 but try something else instead i'm not uh, saying this because i think it's easy i'm autistic myself and a huge part of my life i've been very lonely and isolated and i didn't have any friends for many many years so i really know how difficult it is but um, you must also not expect yourself to have a neurotypical life because you are autistic so you have to pursue your happiness um, by living the autistic path by choosing your autistic way choosing what is good for you uh, without comparing your life with others with uh, neurotypical people so this was it i hope you found it useful uh, if you did, subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can also become my patron on my Patreon page uh, to support me with my channel. Um, well, that was it. Echo and I wish you a great day and we hope to see you with our next videos again. 
Bye.